Ok, now we have our signaling server in place, so it's time to create the RTC peer connection and start exchanging messages. But before, let's review what we've done so far. When the first user joins the room, it sends a create or join message to the signaling server. In the server, we count the number of users that are currently in the room and depending on that, we return a different message. If there are no users in the room, the servers return a created. If there is already a user, then it returns joined. And if there are already two users in, in the server, then it will return full. For our first servers, we are currently handing the created message. After receiving such message, we get the media devices and set the current user as caller. But what about the second user? Let's create a handler for him by simply copying the created event and passing it below. We're going to change a few things in here uh, because instead of setting up the user as the caller, we're going to notify that the server that we are ready and the server in turn will notify the other user. So let's modify here the joint and in here we're going to make a notification socket emit ready and we're going to send the room number. Now we need to set up our offer and answer mechanism and ice candidate. To do so, let's create a handler for the ready message. So we're going to add another function here that is going to receive the ready message. Uh, this means that the second user has joined the call and has notified the signaling server that it's ready to begin with the offer and answer process. So we're going to set in here an anonymous function and we're going to make sure that the, the person receiving this event is the caller. And in here, we are going to create our RTC peer connection object by creating an RTC peer connection constructor and we're going to set the i servers. These are the ones that we have defined in here. So we're going to add those i servers to our RTC peer connection. Now we need to set up a couple of events. The first one is the on ice candidates. We're going to talk about this event in a minute. Uh, for now let's just set it to ice on ice candidate functions. We also need to set up another event. This is the on track. We're also going to talk about this in a minute. We're going to set it by now to the on add stream function. Okay, now we need to do a couple of things. First of all, because we now have the the stream of the media devices we're going to add that stream to our rtc peer connection we do that by calling at the method add track and in here going to access our local stream we're going to get the tracks and we are going to set, to call the one that is in the position zero we're also going to send the actual instance of the stream. We're going to do the same for the other track. Remember that we have a video track and we also have an audio track. So local stream, get tracks. In this case, we're going to get the, the one in the position one and we need to send the actual stream. Now, 
we all we have already created our RTC per connection. Now we're going to create the offer, and we do that by calling the function create offer. Now the create offer function returns a promise, so we need to add appropriate handlers. We're going to add the then, and what we're going to receive is a session description that will have all the information about codecs, all the information about formats, and all the stuff that we said in the presentation. Okay, so once we have the session description, we need to add that description to our RTC peer connection by setting to the local description. So we type set local description, and we're going to set the session description object that we have received. And now we need to set to send the offer to the signaling server so that it can be sent to the other users. So this is going to be an offer event and we're going to send an object. This object is going to have a type of offer. It's going to have the SDP, which is the session description that we are sending. So this is session description and we're also going to send the room number or room name. Okay, now we need to handle the error in case that there is any error. And we simply are going to print that error. Okay, now let's also create the handler for the offer message that the other user will receive. So we are going to copy the ready handler and we're going to paste it below. Now we need to change a couple of things here. First of all, we are sending an event, so which is this one that we are sending here. So we need to receive it. Uh, also, we need to change, uh, of course, the, <laughs> the handler name. In this case, it's going to be offer. This is because we are sending this event to the signaling server and the signaling server is going to simply emit it to the other user. So we need to receive it on the offer event. Okay, another thing that we need to change is that in this case, we need to make sure that the person that is receiving this event is not the caller. In other words, it's the other user. So we're going to add the not, uh, the not symbol here. And also, uh, in here, we are not going to create an offer, but we're going to create an answer. So we need to put use the method create answer. Um, there's another thing that we need to do, and is that uh, we need to receive the remote description, which is this one. So we need to set that before creating the answer. So in here, we're going to put set remote description and in here we're going to create a new RTC RTC session description I was writing remote description okay so in here we set the event as is okay we have the create answer and we are going to change also the type of message that we are sending. In this case, it won't be an offer, but it, wants, it, it will be an answer. So we change this accordingly. Okay. Now, we need to create the answer message handler, similar to when we send the, the offer, it's sent to the signaling server in here, then this is sent to the other peer, which is receiving it in here. Uh, we are also sending an answer that passed the signaling server and goes through the other user we need to, who needs to receive it in similar fashion. So we're going to receive it here. This is going to be for the answer. Uh, we also are receiving an event. And the only thing that we need to do here is to add the remote description similar as we are doing in the offer handler. So RTC per connection set remote description in here we create a new RTC session description and we set the event 
Okay. Now, uh, the one thing that is missing here, we have our, our RTC per connection and we are already handling our offer and answer mechanism. So the next thing is the ICE candidate. However, before talking about ICE candidate, let's create one of the functions that we defined before. In here, we define the on ICE candidate and we also define a, a NAT stream function. So let's define this function before uh, talking about ICE candidate. Uh, this function is going to be about uh, adding the remote stream that we have received to our web page or to our uh, remote video element. So function on add stream is, is receiving an event and we take in here the remote video as the source object which is going to be the same or we're going to be equal to event streams note the yes at the end because this is an array and we are getting the the one that is in the first position and we're also going to set our remote stream so that we are be able to manipulate from the console event streams again note the yes zero okay all we need to do now is handling the ice candidate change so when you're ready move to the next lesson